fitting takeoff. Cutting your plumbing pipe the right length each and every time. Do you know how to do that? Old school plumbers literally just laid stuff out, held it up, measured the center to center, eyeballed it, and then came in and said, oh yeah, that'll work. And you know what? We got pretty close. We got close enough to really make it work. But then I discovered the right way to do it. The right way with information. See, each manufacturer gives you a fitting takeoff list. Now, if you know the exact takeoff of every branch on this fitting, you know exactly how long it is here. You know exactly how far it is from center to center right here. You know how far this piece comes up from center line here. You know center to center on your sweep and it's the same both ways. Once you figure those dimensions out, you take your center to center, subtract this makeup piece, subtract this makeup, then you know your exact piece to cut. So what we're gonna do, now we're gonna step over to my little magic board today. We're gonna draw it up and we're gonna put the dimensions down and we're gonna show you how we would do it, but also give you the opportunity to do this yourself. That way you can figure it out, see how to use it, and we'll show you these sheets so you see exactly what we're looking at. So, let's grab the tape measure, let's step over here to the magic board, and let's have fun. And remember, this video is sponsored by Leak Pro. If you really wanna know how to grow the revenue at your company, or if you're a plumber, Go check out leak-pro.com. This is leak detection equipment designed for plumbers to learn how to find leaks under slabs, around swimming pools, under the decks, at water meters, at yard hydrants, anywhere at all. With Leak Pro, you can go to the meter, go to the valve box, go to the backflow preventer, and then go to every angle stop in the house and listen to find out the proximity of your leak. Then with the right training, you can literally listen above the slab to the slab and find out exactly where that leak is. You can determine how much more money you can make each and every year. Go check it out at leak-pro.com. So we're using Charlotte today. So I'm literally gonna look at the combination wine eighth bin and the long sweep quarter bin because those are the fittings that I'm using. And I've got the sheets right here. And like I said, we'll show you this, but first of all, I'm using four inch. So I wanna go down to the four inch PVC fittings on both of these, and the fittings are apparently the same on PVC and ABS on the four inch. So the combination and the sweep. Now I'm gonna write these dimensions down up here just so you can see them. Now the B dimension, which notice where I put my lines, that is actually the runoff pipe meaning down here is where the hub's gonna be. So the B dimension on four inch is eight and a half. Then I'm gonna look at coming from here to center. The C dimension is 10 inches. And you notice where I'm writing them. The A dimension is also 10 inches. What that tells me is basically, this is a super long sweep and then you've got eight and a half inches from the total run length there. So now I know my dimensions there. Now I'm gonna come over to my long sweep and it's four and 15 sixteenths, both ways. So it's really easy. Now, now that I have these down, so we're gonna look at this like I'm laying it down in the ground. We've got a line running here, we're gonna put in a combo, and then we're gonna go over two foot 11 and nine sixteenths and turn up our sweep. So what that would look like on paper, something like that. This is the center, this is the center, and I need to pull out two feet 11 and nine sixteenths to get this to line up properly. Now, if you're a plumber in the field, you know, well, if I put this in and I eyeball it and it's a quarter inch off, I can bump the main, I can do that. Well, we're trying to keep things perfectly neat and we want to show you the exact way to do this. So you're going to take your two foot 11 and nine sixteenths and then if you look, we're pulling out 10 inches right here. Remember, from here to here, and this is also from makeup on it, just like it is on the other ends. So from makeup, we know we've got 10 inches. Then over here, from center 
to make up, we've got 4 and 15 sixteenths. So what I'm going to do is now is I'm going to just put those together. So I need to pull out 14 inches and 15 sixteenths from 9 and 9 sixteenths. So I'm going to make that 1 foot 2 and 15 sixteenths. So this now becomes just a very simple math problem. What I'm going to do, I'm going to borrow from my 11 inches to get this above 15 sixteenths. So I'm just going to add 16 to the 9. So 16 and 9, I've got 25. The 16 stays the same, so I'm good there. So I subtract 15 sixteenths from 25 sixteenths, and I get 10 sixteenths. Now I pulled that inch from here, so 10 minus 2 is 8. 2 foot minus 1, 1 foot 8, and 10 sixteenths. Of course, you're going to reduce that fraction. 1 foot 8 and 5 eighths. Now, that's what you're going to cut on your tape measure. But before we do that, we're going to check and double check. We want to make sure that we cut this right. So you're going to take your 1 foot 8, 5 eighths, then you're going to add in basically your 1 foot 2 and 15 sixteenths, which is what you get right here. I'm going to take my 10 inches, my 4 and 5 sixteenths, which is, or 4 and 15 sixteenths, which is right here, 10, 1 foot 2 and 15 sixteenths. I'm going to add this back to this. All I'm doing is double checking my math. 5 eighths and 15 sixteenths, take your 5 eighths. Make it 10 sixteenths. Now I get 25 sixteenths. Now you're going to convert that over. So I'm taking the sixteenth sixteenths back out. So pull sixteenths out of it. There's your 9 sixteenths. You're going to add your inch back in. So you've got 8, 9, 10. There's your 11 inches. And there's your 2 foot. 2 foot 11, 9 sixteenths of an inch, which is exactly what we said our center to center was going to be. So guys, this is a way to do this. Check it and double check it. Just like we always want to do. Measure twice, cut once. Well, check your math twice. Do it per the book, then go back and add it back in. See if it comes out the same each and every time. Now, if you're a plumber, you're already doing this in the field. And if you're a plumber, I want you to think about this. Can you learn something to help you grow in your business? Jim Rohn talks about improving yourself, and that's going to improve you in your work. Go check out Leak-Pro. We love working with Leak-Pro because we think that's the best leak detection equipment we were able to find and started using it for years. So if you want to grow as a plumber, invest in yourself. Learn to find leaks where other plumbers can't do it. Go check out leak-pro.com. And if you're a plumber and you do layout any other way, you know, maybe it's old school, maybe it's just eyeballs. That's up to you. Tell me what you do. And if you don't like the way I did this, tell me some way you do it that's even better. Whatever you do out there today, do it safe. And remember, hit it effing hard.